Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Mr. President, can you make an announcement about Venezuela today? Um, the, some administration officials told reporters on a conference call that all options are on the table. Are you considering a military option for Venezuela? We're not considering anything, but all options are on the table. Does that mean you're considering military Which is military? all options, always. All options are on the table. Mr. President, Nancy Pelosi just responded and she said she will not consider a concurrent resolution to have you come to the House on January 29th to deliver your State of the Union. Your response to the House Speaker. I'm not surprised. Uh, it's really uh, a shame uh, what's happening with the Democrats. They've become radicalized. Uh, they don't want to see crime stop, which we can very easily do on the southern border. And it really is a shame uh, what's happening with the Democrats. Uh, this will go on for a while. Ultimately, the American people will have their way because they want to see no crime. They want to see what we're doing. Like today, we lowered prescription drug prices the first time in 50 years. They want to see that the Democrats would never have been able to do that. So we're all working very hard. We'll have to respond to it. We'll respond to it in a timely manner. Thank you very much, everybody. President, how likely is this? Mr. President, 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 uh, Mr. Giuliani, he and his family have been threatened. No, I would say he's been threatened by the truth. He's only been threatened by the truth. And uh, uh, he doesn't want to do that, probably for me or other of his clients. Uh, he has other clients also, I assume. And uh, he doesn't want to tell the truth for me or other of his clients. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody.